Hello everyone, Kenny here with WatchReport.com bringing you another video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new company that just hit the watch market within the last year. The company's name is MVMT, pronounced as Movement. And right now they have six variations of their collections online that you can go ahead and, and choose from. Today we're going to be taking a look at the black on black model from Movement. As you can see, this is the case that your watch will be coming in. A nice rugged neoprene case that's definitely going to protect the watch during shipping. Nice oversized rugged zipper here. Adds a nice flavor to the case. All right, so let's open it up and take a peek at the watch. Okay. Here's the black on black version of movements line of watches. Nice watch. The case has an overall width of 45 millimeters. Lug to lug is 50 millimeters. The case height is 10 millimeters. The case has a really nice weight to it. Constructed out of stainless steel. See the MVMT logo right there in the middle. It's water resistant up to three atmospheres. So it's definitely going to protect against if you get caught in the rain or any water gets splashed on it. Definitely not a watch you want to go swimming with. As you can see, dial here is simple and clean. Black dial. The gunmetal markers, gunmetal hour hand, minute hand. It's got the red MVMT logo right here at the 12 o'clock position as well as the red second hand. Adds that nice added flair to the, to the black dial here. It's got the date window right there at the 3 o'clock position. Pull the crown out one time, go counterclockwise. You can adjust the date. Pull it out one more time to the second position. So you can adjust the hour and minute hands. Like I said, stainless steel case, 10 millimeters thick. 45 millimeter case with 50 millimeter lug to lug. It's powered by a Japanese Miyota movement, quartz movement. Not sure if it's the 2015 or the 2115 quartz movement, but we all know Miyota's notorious for accurate timekeeping. I like the simple, clean dial. Um, the black dial with the gunmetal markers definitely. Definitely very attractive. Only issue with the dial is there's no loom, so the gunmetal at night is, is a little difficult to read if you don't have any low light around. Um, if you're in pure darkness, it's definitely extremely hard to, uh, to read the time. As you can see, the date window is nice and big there, nice and legible date number, very easy to read. Right, we'll move on to the bracelet here. Bracelet's constructed out of stainless steel. 24 millimeters in width. 3 millimeter in height. Push button clasp. Go to watch on wrist. So I have a 7 inch wrist. That's a Case width of 45 millimeters on a 7 inch wrist with 50 millimeter lug to lug. As you can see, it eats up a good portion of my wrist there. Actually, my entire wrist. Powder coating there on the bracelet. Nice bracelet. Only downfall I find with this bracelet is, uh, is you know, well, it's powder coated, so over time it's definitely going to. Show a little bit of wear and tear, but on the inside of the links, you know, this is something I'm just looking for. On the inside of the links here, you can see where the powder coat was missed. Um, happens with a lot of powder coating on the, on the bracelets. It's just the way that the bracelet is, is coated. Clasp. 
can hear it there. Nice weight to the watch. Case is nice and heavy. Bracelets got a nice, nice weight to it. All right, and there you have it. The black on black version of the MVMT watch. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please like this review if you found it helpful. Leave any comments in the section below. Make sure you follow us on Watch Report for all of our latest video reviews.